Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about a product by NatureBox. Okay, now this is a leading conditioner spray. Now, I've been using this for, I want to say, close on for about a month now. I can't quite, I've been trying to find the record of how much I paid for it, as in a receipt or something, but I can't seem to find it, and I'm usually really good at holding on to that. But I want to say I paid around the £3.50 mark for this. Um, it's nature box. It's with cold pressed pomegranate oil. Now, one of my favorite fruits, in fact, my favorite fruit is pomegranate. So I seen this and I thought to myself, you know what? I really enjoy trying all different things for my hair. I have got right in the end of my hair, I've got some bleached uh, sort of ends, some highlights which have grown out now, as you can probably see. And I had that done back in December of last year. So quite a few months now without any sort of color or chemical processing throughout my hair. But this I really wanted to try and we're going to be talking about this one today. So why would you need to use this one? So straight away, it's instant comability, okay, and it's a colour spray conditioner for colour protection shine. So I know I haven't got all over colour in my hair, but because of bleach, anybody who knows who's had highlights or sort of blonde in their hair, whether you're a man or a woman, you will know that it, it changes the characteristics of the hair. So it, in a way, it makes the hair, well in fact it does, it makes the hair a little bit more brittle, it makes it slightly more dry, it really does kind of ramp up what you need to do with your hair in terms of kind of care and hydration and the right products to use to keep it looking healthy and sleek and that real nice ultimate sort of shine of health and vitality in the hair. So I'm always at the moment uh, on the outlook for uh, products which can really help boost that vitality and that shine, that healthiness, particularly towards the length uh, and ends of my hair with the bleach in. Today I have got on sporting a, like a, a man's top knot style here at the back. My hair now is to my shoulders. I've recently had that cut because ultimately, I'll be very honest with you, I think the only way to keep healthy ends after you've had sort of a chemical process or anything like that is a trim. Now that was the, that was the, uh, I haven't had a trim since December, so we are now in mid-April. So it's been a little while, but I have my size, as you can see, every couple of weeks to keep that nice and short. Um, but ultimately, this spray I've been exploring in the evenings, and I will tell you why. So this spray, uh, why would you necessarily want to use this? Okay, so for example, if you go to blow dry your hair, and you're a lady watching this, you've got that long flowing hair, and you've got blonde throughout it, you may find that once you use a blow dry, it goes a bit frizzy, a little bit coarse. I was looking for something to add direction to my hair add that kind of sleekness and this looking at this I really did think that it would do that on the whole it does but it does make the hair a little bit more heavier um, so it's got quite a, it's not greasy or it's not oily but it is heavy and it does feel as though that you've got like almost like a moisturizing product in the hair almost like that you took a little bit of moisturizer and you rubbed it over the top of your hair not so extreme as though that it's absolutely slicked your head but certainly so there's an awareness of product in your hair so ultimately and I've tried this with just a small little bit, and I've sprayed it a little bit in my hands and then throughout the lengths and ends of my hair, and then I've also just sprayed it on wet hair. I would always suggest um, wet products on wet hair, and if you've got dry hair, kind of leave a product like this alone on dry hair. Some you can, this one you can't. It says you can use this on wet and dry hair. Only use this on wet hair. And to be quite honest with you, I've had to kind of abandon using it before sort of on a morning using it. What I now use it for is sleeking my hair back if I'm wearing like a, a wet look style, what I've got here and just tying it up in the sort of the top knot style in the back of my head. Um, if I was straightening my hair or if I was using a blow dryer throughout my hair, I wouldn't use this because I've tried it. Number one, it takes a lot longer for my hair to dry because my hair is fine, but I've got quite a lot of it. It seems to hold on to that sort of wetness, that sort of moisturizing element of the product. So it's great for dry hair because it does add nourishment and moisture to the hair. But unfortunately, it leaves a little bit of a, a sort of a a little bit of a tacky sort of cakey type sort of feeling on the hair a little bit almost like you've got some sort of product in there it doesn't make it feel dry at the ends or anything like that at all i know some conditioning products almost are counterintuitive and they actually dry the hair a little bit more when you're styling it this doesn't so this does add it does add the nourishment it really does um but it's just a bit heavy it says color protection and shine i didn't actually find any shine from this until if I kind of was to leave it and then I was to wash my hair in the morning, okay, then I found that it was a little bit more shiny, but unfortunately it wasn't to the point where I could wear it because it did have that sort of bit of product build up in my hair, um, which was just a bit heavy and with fine hair, it just made it sit very, very lank. Um, so be a little bit careful with this. Ultimately, I think it works best for me. I spray it through wet hair and then do it up into sort of like a top knot here. But it does work if you take a little bit of the spray in your hands and then just rub it through the ends, not the lengths, just the ends of your hair, because ultimately it still puts that little bit of sort of heavy 
heaviness there, um, but it does just kind of tame that dryness right back. But certainly do not spray this throughout your roots. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So it's 98% natural origin of ingredients in total. Again, what I like about uh, NatureBox products here, and I noticed this on the front here, which I absolutely love, is uh, the bottle is made from 98% social plastic and then, okay, and then it's certified natural cosmetics as a cosmos natural and then it's vegan formula. I just want to pick out where did I see it on the bottle here? So I believe anyway, without referring to the bottle, I believe that social plastic is where that they they uh, nature box te uh, nature box takes for their uh, packaging that they take plastic which is just lying around in our environment and then that kind of recycling program and then that type of plastic is used and I think. Yeah, so here we go. So together with Plastic Bank, we fight plastic waste found at beaches and on land, recycling it into so-called social plastic. So I think that element is really, really good. And I really do like a product which takes responsibility for how it's sourcing its products and how it's getting those products to consumers, as in you, you and me. And of course, that way we're looking after the environment we live in. So for my children's children, children are still going to have this incredible planet we live in. Ultimately, I do really like the product, but I recommend it. Yes. Is it for sort of that style and then you're going to go out for a really sort of flash suave day? No, you're going to want to be a little bit careful with it. But is it something which you can use in the evening for that nourishment, and that conditioner or that condition rather? Yes, absolutely. You can. And certainly like, if you're going to do a style like what I've done, absolutely brilliant. But if you're going to go then for that amazing blowout look and you want the volume, stay away from it. Only use it sort of as almost like a pre-wash treatment. Or if you're going to wash your hair in the morning, spray loads in at night, then wash it out in the morning. Then you do get that little bit more nourishment from it. And I do find that works really well. So that's just another idea here. I just want to run through a few things which I like also. So I absolutely love uh, the pomegranate element in here. Sadly, it doesn't smell of that. It's got a little bit of almost like an imitation smell. It doesn't quite smell as natural as what they're claiming it to be, but it's not unpleasant. It is okay. Um, what I like in here as well, it's got the cold pressed pomegranate oil, which of course we've mentioned. Um, and I do like on the bottle here, I'm not going to go into all the science of the ingredients, but what you can see here is a whole list of all different labels, um, all different ingredients, sorry. And it's, of course, the real science names which we're not necessarily familiar with. And what I like by the side of it is it breaks it down for sort of like the normal person on the street who, uh, on the high street, who doesn't necessarily understand those products. And why would you? Because, of course, if you haven't got that background, you just want to know if it, it delivers what it says it's going to for your hair. And you want it to be able to look after your hair and scalp. So here, what I really like is it's got the science ingredient, ingredient rather, and then it's got the uh, sort of the breakdown meaning by the side. So, for example, um, we all know what agar is water. So, use to dissolve ingredients. Then we've got another one here. So, glycerin balances moisture levels. Then we've got a few other different products which is in here. And then, for example, provides care, stabilizes the formula, provides care, optimizes perfume, and extends durability. Um, so, we've got all those sort of little helps by the side of it, which just it gives you a little bit more of an, a clearer understanding of the ingredients, what you're actually using on your hair and scalp, which I absolutely love. Um, but ultimately, for 200 mils as a spray conditioner, I really like it. Not the best product in the world, um, but Nature Box, I do like what they stand for. Love the social responsibility uh, side of things for the packaging. Um, but for me, I wouldn't necessarily call this a spray conditioner. For me, it's almost like a pre-wash kind of pop-up kind of damage repair kind of boost of hydration to the very ends of your hair and then of course that little bit of extra nourishment before you wash your hair for me it's a nighttime product that's kind of why you're seeing me like this now because i will spray a little bit in just a moment throughout my hair um, and then wash first thing in the morning get all that sorted and you do just get that added nourishment and yeah all great so i really hope you've enjoyed this clip do try it i've purchased mine i believe i want to say is that home bargains here in the uk you can also buy this on Amazon. I can't quite remember. I know I paid around £3.50. I've been trying to find the receipt for it, but I can't find it. But I know you can also get this online as well, and a whole host of different shampoos and conditioners and things like that too. So do have a look at the brand. They're certainly worth a try. And at the end of the day, I'm finding it's a little bit heavy on my hair, but I have got real fine textured hair, but a lot of it. Somebody with thicker, coarser hair may find that absolutely perfect for them. So everybody's hair, remember, is different. And at the end of the day, if you've got really fine, thinning, see-through hair, do not count yourself out of it because you can use it as like a pre kind of treatment before you shampoo your hair out um and ultimately thin thinning hair and the thinnest hair can still be absolutely amazingly cool on a man and still be really really beautiful on a woman so do not put that off um there are added there's bonuses negatives isn't there positives the thick hair thin hair curly hair straight hair all of those things um but ultimately really really great thank you very much for being here and until next time if you do have any questions at all 
please leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much for being here. It's, it really means the world to me that you've joined me, joined me for this clip. Keep back in. And until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.